Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mysterious Mr. Right, and welcome back to another building video ladies and gentlemen, today the Simi World Cinema. So I had the idea with a new expansion that came out, or a little add-on pack, that I want to do some form of cinema, and this is kind of what I came up with. So um, I had the idea of building a big cinema, and this particular one has four individual screens, each capable of hosting their own sort of uh, screening. Uh, the lot itself at the moment is just uh, tailored for just a general kind of lot, there's nothing too exciting about it, so um, you might want to change this to either a retail or something a bit more appropriate as time goes on. So to start off with, what I've done is laid out a massive area here and uh, then raised up the floor a little bit, then built a basically a rectangle uh, which goes across two floors and then put an area around the top as well. As I move around the outside of the build, I'm putting these lines in because these will actually be part of a modern feel and I wanted this build to have quite a modern effect. So you can see I've left some gaps of where the doors will actually be on the front of this and now I'm just doing the second layer of these weird kind of supports. It's a strange sort of aesthetic choice but it's something that I'm actually really really pleased with. Um, originally I just had these on the front but I decided to actually do a complete lap in the uh, in these and it actually works really really nicely um, so just moving around uh, the top of the building again just continue on with the half walls as you can see there's the biggest half wall around the top there I do want to close off that top area and I have to admit the roof area itself is actually really empty so you could easily put something up there have stairways going up the back of the building and I'll explain where you can put those uh, shortly but for the moment the roof itself will stay relatively bare so you can see I've got the blue wallpaper on the outside of the build and on this particular columns I've built them out of this kind of a stone effect. Again these giant stone slabs work really really nicely and really pleased with how well they turned out. As for the top of the uh, half walls I will change the colour from that uh, brown to something a bit more appropriate uh, any time uh, a bit later on. So as we move on to the windows, I wanted this build to have a massive, massive open feel to it. So what I've started off with with these huge windows above each of these doors. And I've left a little gap there uh, for where you can actually put the uh, film posters and uh, just putting some big uh, displays and logos and stuff on the wall, big neon signs. And here we go. This is where the actual uh, posters can go. And uh, I know there's a couple of duplicates there, but they do mirror uh, perfectly in the end and now I'm just going to light up the build from the outside so to actually light up the build I've put these little spotlights on the floor in between each of the columns and uh, again it just adds for a really nice glow and then what I'll do is I'll actually put some lights around the very top on the half walls and again it just means at night this uh, this build actually really really stands out rather than just fading into the darkness and again bearing in mind that a lot of these films would be showing late at night if this was a real cinema so again just trying to account for uh, some aesthetic appeal. Uh, I can see one of the lights is off actually centered there don't worry that is corrected in the final build it was something I didn't actually notice until I started editing the video so as you can see just going around now just placing all these lights around the top of the build uh, again as I said this will become more apparent of uh, how good this looks once I actually switch the uh, day night cycle as you can see here lighting up those columns really really nicely Okay, so now it's time to move into the build itself. So inside here, I'm uh, going to start by laying out the major rooms. So I started off by laying out what will actually be the entrances to the cinemas, and there they are there, the two uh, main screens on the ground floor. These are the biggest of the screens, and we've got the two toilets, uh, which will be either side here, and I'm just laying out the stalls uh, now. And then on the upper story, there will actually be two more cinemas, just putting the stairs up now to get this nice balcony going on as well. There you go, just opening that area up nice and just put the half walls in there. Again, these will actually be for posters and will mean that from the downstairs as you walk through the door you'll be able to see the amazing posters for the latest films. Now as we move to the upper story, you can see here I'm just laying out the areas for the uh, upstairs uh, cinemas. So we can see we've got two big cinemas there and a couple of small toilets as well up here. Again, another couple of stalls um, just on the top floor. So the actual cinemas themselves uh, are actually all very, very similar in design. There's not a huge amount of changes. They're all with this red in the interior and all have this black um, area at the back here. Red carpet with these black columns going around as well. Every cinema is very minimal on the lighting front, um, except for a couple of lights at the back and these hanging lights just give a subtle glow and stuff um, in the darkness. Then I put these... Uh, countertops along the bottom there and in the jutting out parts I hide the two speakers on the screens and then put the traditional curtains uh, over the top just so you know the move object sheet is on to make that particular um, curtain placement possible. Nice big big cinema chairs these were the most appropriate chairs I could really find would you believe I personally felt that the uh, movie hangout uh, pack um, didn't actually have that great of cinema seats in it so uh, I instead opted for one of the uh, other expansions. 
So, as you can see, the actual cinema screen itself has those two speakers off to the side and the speaker at the top. Now, I'm sure that in uh, realistic terms, that's quite a nice appeal, but I personally didn't like how that looked, so I actually hid them behind these curtains. Also, with the wall sticking out, it meant the curtains did look like uh, they actually covered the screen up. Um, again, it was just a nice, a nice choice. I went with, I personally preferred this uh, this way of doing it, but uh, I know if you were unhappy with it or wanted to swap those out for nice big plasma TVs, you easily could do so. Again, just going around, placing around the curtains now to give these uh, subtle glows, and what I want to do is put the nice posters at the back, just above those lights of the film that you just come to see. So a couple of doorways just gone in either side here um, of the cinema screens and those lead round the back of the cinema screens to a sort of an open area. You could easily put some stairs or something or some form of stairway in there. I've opted to leave it empty but that would actually be your route to the roof if you wanted to. So as you can see on the outside of the cinemas I've put a couple of the posters either side along with it's actually the stock exchange bar but I felt that it looked like it was kind of cinema times uh, above the top there and then put uh, the two uh, sets of pathways on the uh, outside for the barriers. Then as we move around then I'm just marking off some different areas of the wall now um, with this uh, nice sort of uh, wood tile effect and the columns either side and uh, these will be the entrances to the toilets, nice big signs and spotlights above them as well and a couple of fire extinguishers because uh, let's be honest fire safety is important in any build. Uh, a couple of nice modern lights here and then you can see I'm just going to play with the uh, lot type here so at the moment it's listed as a cafe uh, just so I could open up and have the option of the um, counters, uh, register and everything like that along with the decorative items and uh, sort of menus and prices on the wall as well. Um, I will actually put this back to general uh, later on but it will not actually be recorded so don't worry this is a general lot. Uh, there isn't actually officially a cinema lot so you might need to try and find something that works for you. As we move into the bathrooms, the bathrooms themselves are both pretty much identical, just obviously with the different doors uh, on the front. So in each of the stalls, I've put these lights just above what will be the stall doors. Um, they each will have a bank of uh, five sinks and some mirrors on top to match. As you can see, just putting in stall doors now. And one side will be blue tiles, the other will be pink tiles. A pretty generic kind of uh, look with these nice dark black slate tiles there uh, just for the sink area. Nice big mirrors there and a couple of lights over the top as well. And these are mirrored on the other side. The final part of the build itself then is just to put in uh, obviously the hand soaps dispensers either side of the sinks and then we're going to put in some towel racks on the back wall there just to complete the toilet area. It's just a nice bank of four there uh, in pink there just changing for a nice bright blue now. Uh, I wish there was hand dryers in this particular uh, sort of pack but unfortunately uh, there isn't so I've had to make do and then uh, just putting in the toilets and the toilet roll in each of these store cubicles as well. Just going to go around and put that in both sides of the build and then it's time to move on to the next area. So as we move uh, to the upper story now, first thing I'm going to do then is just put in some lights and lighten up the whole area. These black spotlights using here, um, again, just a, just a nice bright subtle light that aren't very intrusive in the build. So again, matching the blue wallpaper all the way up and then putting in the same uh, tiled uh, wood effect um, either side of here just to break up the wall a little bit add another colour in there and then when I put some posters on it a bit later again it helps really make that wall stand out. So just raising up the uh, actual uh, half walls up a little bit in height just to mean that that poster sits perfectly on there uh, as well. Just moving around here, perfect mirror reflection all the way around the build itself. You could easily change those posters to whichever ones you wanted if you want to have more on one and more of the other you could easily swap them out if you wanted to and some nice big posters on the wall. These are the only two that I didn't actually use throughout the build so I've put them up and scaled them up on the wall as well. Then uh, to finish up breaking up this particular wall, I've put in the nice sunflower canvases on there just for something a bit of different form of artwork. Again, you could easily change that to whatever you wanted, whether it be a landscape or anything like that. It's up to you entirely. So for these two upper story cinema screens, these particular screens are slightly smaller, albeit not by very much. I believe they're about one, maybe two blocks smaller in uh, actual length. So uh, don't worry, you're not missing out too much. Um, but the actual screens themselves will be a near identical layout to the previous ones. The toilets themselves are exactly the same as well. So we've got the nice pink, nice pink and blue tiles on the floor there. We're going to have the two stools nice and compact here. Um, and I will have space for a couple of sinks and some mirrors as well. Again, just matching up with the lights in there as well, along with the bank of three sinks in either toilet and the nice big mirrors around there as well. Just going to grab the toilets that are required and then also the toilet roll from the lower story. Originally, I did actually search for these. It was just easier just to grab them. Considering I'd already built this once, it was just a replication process. 
The cinema screens themselves will fall into the same category. As you can see, there is that back area there that is actually hidden with the black wallpaper. Uh, that particular area, as you can see from behind the lower screens, will actually lead up and could easily have the stairs required to go from the ground all the way to the uh, roof if and as required. Uh, there is no staff room in this particular build. Again, I was looking to maybe try and put that in somewhere, but to be honest, um, I wasn't 100% sure how many staff you would have working here, so I wasn't sure if a staff room was entirely necessary, but again, if this, this was downloaded into your build, you could easily put whatever you would like in it. Cinema screens following exactly the same layout, nice black columns there, red um, sort of curtains hanging from the walls there with that subtle red glow in there, nice posters on the back walls, exactly the same chairs, this time uh, slightly closer together um, just to allow for five banks of chairs, so a bit less space but again, uh, every cinema has its smaller screens and these ones are the small ones of this particular cinema. Just finishing up now with the last couple of bits uh, of this build and then we're going to move into the glamour shots. So this build, as always, uh, will actually be available for download on my uh, Sims 4 Gallery page. You can just search for Mysterious Mr. Ryan, Mr. Ryan's uh, Simi World, or the other option is I have actually inserted a link in the description box down below, so I would definitely open that up, and that will take you to my page, so you can actually look, do it from your browser. So as you can see, just finishing up the cinema now, with the last couple of bits, moving up to the roof then, so nice metal style carpet, can't say the words there, a uh, metal style carpet there with uh, all the extraction equipment all around this central point here. I've left this again open but you could easily put a doorway onto here if you want to have some kind of boiler room uh, but that is entirely your call as we move into the glamour shots. Well there you have it ladies and gentlemen, if you have liked what you've seen here please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below if you want to stay up to date with me and all my latest projects and ideas give me a follow on Twitter, links on your screen or in the description box down below. Finally, if you finish checking out all that great stuff and want to watch another video, give either of those two icons on the top of your screen a cheeky click to be taken to one of my other videos. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out, stay awesome, and I'll see you next video.